My producer showed me this on Instagram. Take a look. You know, I'm known as the most famous cook that nobody knows. I've been on more TV shows, but my mother used to say, I want you on the Steve Harvey show. The guy's great. The guy's going to do something for you. I'm telling you, get on Steve Harvey. Well, my mom passes away. I get a shot to go on Steve Harvey April 10th, my mother's birthday. Well, everybody, please welcome Steve Moderato. Yeah, man. That was good, man. Yeah. Got him good. Yeah, man. All the time. for that to me, man. Yeah. Thank you. That's good, man. Thank you. You all right, man. Yeah. Thank you. That's good, man. Thank you. Well, man, well, we here. Together? Yeah. Together. My mother, my mother loved you. I think she loved you more than she loved me. Well, listen, your mother right now is meeting my mother in heaven for the first Amen. time. Amen, amen. They looking down on their two boys. Did something with their life. Yeah, man. Come out the dirt. Dirt? Yo, they talking about I know, I know your story. Yeah. Do you know my story? I know some of it. I, I, I start out of a basement selling sandwiches, knocking on people's doors, door to door. No education, no culinary background, had no money, was a street guy trying to earn on the street. Everybody was going to jail, getting killed. I had to change my life. I couldn't sing or dance. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I, I started a cook, and that's what happened. Before started you know, cooking. Now I got four restaurants. Yeah. Four, bro. You had 40 bucks in your pocket when I you went my, to Miami. I opened my joint, my place in Fort Lauderdale with $40. And I say this, and I don't mean to get emotional. I ain't no punk. Listen to me. I ain't no... <laughs> yeah. I'm not no punk. Come on, I got you. I know. When, you, when you're broke and you're working hard for something, when your son wants... When your son wants ice cream across the street and you can't give it to him, yeah. it'll break your heart. But I'd buy that ice cream pile today yeah. and I would give it to him, man. Yeah. That's the truth. I mean that from my heart. That's right. Yeah. And That's right. I got to say this, Steve, because I promise God, I'm, I'm a street guy. I gave my life to Christ. Yeah. And I promised him, whatever show I get, all the credit. I want to go to God. Yeah. All the credit, brother. Yeah. All the credit. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. See, this is all. Uh... So, hold on, let me say this. This is for people who got nothing, who come from the bottom and the dirt, that you can come up. You, you just got to have faith, hard work, and some determination. You got to have a vision and a dream. You can get there, man. Let's do what we came here right. to do. Let's see yeah. if we can cook something fast for the people. I'm born in Philly, so we got Philly cheesesteaks, right? Okay, let's go. So, there's two ways. You got the, the, the store kind or my mother's kind, which is the home style. Now, you get your skillet, you always want to feel it, you want to get a little bit of hot. I use extra virgin olive oil. You get that nice and hot. Here's your meat. Just top it around. What you got to do is you go to your grocery store, you tell the guy to freeze a pound of meat, and then slice it thin, because you want it paper thin. Once that's hot, real simple, you put this here, you get yourself a regular spoon, and you just want to mix this up, and you want to break it apart like this. Can you see that? Right? She's, but this is TV, so just watch. So we're, <laughs> we're, we're pushing it around. We want to get nice color to it. Here, you, you got, it, got it cooked. Yeah. Salt, pepper, salt and pepper. When it's done, you're going to have meat. It looks just like this. <laughs> you're going to have meat. You're going to have meat like this now. In Philly, we use cheese whiz. You know what cheese whiz is? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I'm not a cheese whiz guy. I'm an American cheese person. You can use provolone. But you tell them to slice it thin. This is how simple this is. You put this on top, and you get your lid, cuz. We got the lid, right? We got the lid that we had here earlier. We put this on top. This cheese melts. And what makes it family style is my mother would mix all the cheese together. You understand what I'm saying? We wouldn't just put the meat and the cheese on top. You let it melt. Is that on, Cuts? Yeah, it's on, but you know, this TV. Well, you want to talk about it, because yeah. it's got to melt. Anything else you want to talk about? Yeah. You just want to show I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's go to break and come back, because right. we not already used up all your time. You now on two segments. We'll be right back. Let's talk about your restaurant. I hear that you got some rules at your restaurant. Well, the customer ain't always right. 
<laughs> That's the bottom line. See, you can see that, can't you? <laughs> Customers, you know why you think about it? You know how many times people come into my joint, they, go, they walk over, it's what they walk over, they look up, too cold. Don't like this table. Oh, open up your own restaurant. Do what you want to do. Let me do what I want to do. Because look, it's like, it's like anything else in life. If, if I'm, a, if I'm a, an artist and I paint something, you're paying for me to do to be an artist. Don't change what I'm trying to do. If not, leave. Frank Sinatra Jr., boom. Liza Minnelli, boom, out. Madonna, boom. Oh yeah, you can't tell me what to do. It's my joint, cuz. You know what I'm saying? It's my joint, yeah. cuz. Yo, cuz, this is my joint. But you know what's good, though, Steve? I've worked so hard, right? It's been like probably 40 years of my life. Yeah. I've got a movie in the works about my life story based on my book. Yeah. I have a reality show about inspiring kids how to learn the restaurant business. That's what I want to do. Yeah. And it's about giving back. It ain't about the money. You got to give back. Yeah. That's the truth. All right, man, how about how right. this? You're a cheesesteak. I want you to cut your bread. Cut my bread. Yeah, yeah. Now put on the, put on this side. On right the cutting here. board. Yeah. Okay. Watch your hands now. No, I got this. Here. Right. <laughs> Be careful. There you go, cuz. Now watch what I do. Okay. Now see how the cheesesteak's melted right here? That's home style. It's not like Philly. Philly puts the cheese on top or on the bread. This we mix. I'm going to go like this. Yeah. The bread's got to be crisp. Yeah. Cuz. You want to do yours? You want to do yours? Yeah, I'm going to do this here. Yo. Now, you ever hear of the, the Philly lean? Philly lean. Now, let me explain this to you. I'm 60 uh, years old. OK, I'm 61. See the way you're pressed? Yeah. I grew up like that in the 70s, because yeah. 80s. I had a pin on my tie. Yeah. I had my hanky coming out all different ways. Yeah. But when it's 4 in the morning and you're drunk, you don't want to get no oil on your clothes. OK. So this is the Philly lean, how it works. Philly lean. Watch your shoes, though, bro. You ready? Yeah. You gotta, you gotta stick it back out, Daddy. Yeah, I got Come on. you. Just like it. Oh, that was kind of like barbecue. Barbecue. Oh, okay. Yeah. I hear one, brother. You know, you good? Mm -hmm. Boy, tell the truth, cuz. You don't even know how I feel about you right now. <laughs> I'm right behind you. Anybody want to taste one? Yeah! You want to get some? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Y'all give a big hand for Steve, everybody. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.